Yeah, see his horse is uh, winging the bum looking. The bird and tackle me. Coming to you from Australia, I'll be a while that one. I'm just here to talk about the greenhouse effect today. I mean, uh, when I was a little kid growing up, they reckon there was going to be an ice age. And I was going to freeze to death. Now I think, now this time the temperatures are heat, uh, increasing, we're all going to die of heat and heat exhaustion. The ice caps are going to bloody melt and we're all bloody drowned. I mean, where's, where's the evidence? The temperature actually went down between 930 and 1970. And the temperature today is actually comparable, slightly higher than it was in 1930. So what are they talking about? Where's this, where's this huge increase in the temperature that's supposed to melt the, the uh, continental ice shelf? I mean, in fact, the ice shelves in the Antarctic are, are thickening. And the temperature in Greenland is actually decreasing. So there's evidence to suggest that the greenhouse effect isn't actually occurring. But where's the science behind it? Haven't, haven't you guys all heard about the uh, El Nino effect? I mean, it's been causing drought across western, southern, uh, western southern part of the world for, for 30 years. We've been having drought. And now someone's raining again and, and it's, it's clear out from Australia. I mean, so where's the evidence of a greenhouse effect now? I mean, it's the El Nino effect. I mean, climate can hardly, or weatherman, weatherman can hardly determine what the temperature is going to be in three days' time. Let alone over you know, a century. Well, we've only been keeping, keeping records for 150 years. So, and there's, there's only one constant with weather. It changes whether man is responsible or not. Okay, I don't know. Maybe man is responsible to some degree, but there's still no evidence to suggest that. Why is this all happening? Why is it in the media? Well, we have socialist journos. We have socialist politicians. And we have social science being funded by socialist politicians to come up with theories that they can control common man and in, in, in industry. And there's the industrial revolution, if you like. So this is why this is all occurring and why the media is blurring it out of all proportions to reality. I and mean, man must be pretty arrogant if he thinks he's holding the bone to change the Earth's atmosphere wholly on his own. I mean, it's just, it's just too silly. And we love we actually, yes, of course, salute less in the world and, and look after the planet and, and nice little forests and jungles and things to, to capture them in life. I mean, it's all very good and well. I mean, and people, private industries actually buy these parks and parklands and, and tourism actually supports their existence. So this, this really market force is actually working in favour of saving the environment. Anyway, that's just me, Willie Will, Wilkins the bum, Ozzy Gatler. Coming to you from Australia, tell you how what he thinks of the world. We all got to wake up to ourselves. Cheers and have a good day.